This is Drake Automotive Group. Today we're going to show you how to install the Drake off-road hood hold downs on this 2000 for 2007 and up uh, Jeep JKs. In this package, you'll receive everything you need to do the install. I'm going to go ahead and open that up now. Show you what's inside. Basically, you're going to receive both hood hold downs, one for the both the or one for the driver side, one for the passenger side. They're very similar, but there is a left and a right piece. Also in the kit, you're gonna receive a full set of instructions for doing the install. Obviously this video should hopefully complement these. As well in the kit, there are these rubber isolators we're using for between your body paint and our brackets. Um, these are to help protect your paint from any scratching or chips. And bag you with all the hardware to do the install. The tools we're going to need to install the hood hold downs are two 13 millimeter open end wrenches. You need a four millimeter and a five millimeter Allen wrench. We actually have a whole set here but specifically you'll need the four and five millimeter. You need a ratchet, a six inch extension, we're going to need a 13 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and if you have one of these universal joints this will help you a lot for getting into the hard to reach spaces. To start the installation, first you obviously want to open your hood to get access to replacing your hood latches. Obviously use your prop rod to hold your hood open. And the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to remove your factory lower hood, hood hold down mount here. To remove your driver's side hood hold down, you're going to start by removing a nut that is found under your fender down in here. To do this, you're going to use your 13 millimeter um, socket. I am using the universal, but you do not need to use that. It just makes it a little easier to get in there and a six inch extension. On our vehicle, once it's broke loose, you can actually get in with your hand. You can remove the nut. It spins off pretty easy. Once you get it off, there's a little rubber bumper here. This simply just pulls off like that. You're gonna keep this to reuse on our, on our Drake off-road parts. Your next step, you need to decide how you wanna install these. There is a difference between left and right, but there isn't really a right or a wrong way of doing this. Essentially, the difference is where your lanyard, this cable is gonna be coming off, whether you want it to come off the front face of your vehicle or off the back. So basically, what we've, what we've done is we've decided we're going to have it coming off the front. By doing that, we're gonna to choose to work with this, this piece. The difference being, again, where your lanyard is coming off from one side versus the other. Okay, now at this point we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt and get the turnbuckle assembly out of here to get any access. When you pull this bolt out, there's two little collars in here. Make sure to keep track of those. They are loose and they will fall out. There's one, there's two little collars. You can set those aside. Now we're going to use your lower bracket, the matching isolating pad, and one of our 8mm bolts that's included with the kit. You're going to take the isolating pad, slide it onto the bracket as seen. You're going to take your 8mm bolt and slide it into the mounting hole. And you're going to take that whole assembly and it mounts on the vehicle as such. We do include a flat washer and locking nut to use with our hardware, or you can reuse the original hardware. Um, it's up to you. Some people are finding the original hardware easier to work with. That's actually what I'm going to do here, but we do, pro we do provide our hardware as well. So you need to reach under there and start this nut. Try not to drop it. And I'm able to thread this on almost till it's snug, and then we'll go ahead and tie that up with our tools. You're going to use your 5mm Allen wrench and the same socket and ratchet set that you use when you disassembled it. Once you're done with that, you can take your rubber bumper that you removed earlier, and that just pushes right back on this tab provided on our bracket. At this point, you're done installing your lower bracket. Next, we're gonna install our turnbuckle and the sleeves we removed earlier. We're gonna start that by taking one of the sleeves, we're gonna put it onto the little, little collar there. Next, we're gonna fish the heim joint and the other sleeve in as shown. 
Once you get those close to the position, you're gonna take your bolt, slide it in, and kind of wiggle it around until everything lines up. And then you're gonna go ahead and thread your bolt in and tighten it up. Next, we're gonna remove our hold down clamp, the original one that's on your hood. You're gonna start by removing these two nuts that are on the inside of the hood. You're gonna do that using your 10 millimeter ratchet. You do not need to reuse this stuff, so you can set it aside. Okay, next you're gonna take our Drake Off-Road bracket and the isolating pad, you're gonna line those up. We've provided six millimeter bolts. You're gonna go ahead and slide those through the holes to hold that isolating pad in place. As shown. And you're gonna go ahead and position this on your hood. Your hole for your quick release pin is gonna face upwards on the hood. And you're gonna go ahead and start your washer we supply and the locking nut. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and tighten these up using your four millimeter Allen wrench and the 10 millimeter socket. Okay, and at this point we finished the driver's side installation. We're gonna repeat all the steps that we just did on the passenger side as well. Once you get that side installed, you're gonna go ahead and close your hood down. When closing your hood, you wanna make sure your turnbuckle is flipped out. If it's flipped in, you're obviously gonna do some damage. Just flip that out of the way. You go ahead and push the turnbuckle into position. On the quick release pin, this little red dot is actually a button. That's how you're gonna release it. So you need to push your red button in and slide your pin into place. Now we need to tighten up your hood. You can see the, the gap down here. Basically all I'm doing is turning your turnbuckle. It's gonna suck the hood in until it hits on the rubber bumper. At that point, you take your jam nuts, tighten those up. You can use two 13 millimeter wrenches to slug those down. And we're finished.